Peace and blessings, family. This is our brother Sharif with the Hour of Power. Go to Hour of Power Sharif Hamid on YouTube. Subscribe and share so we can continue to lift the mind, body, and soul of our people. Hit the share button and hit watch party so we can invite a couple more uh, people in and to hear this important message. Hit the share button and hit watch party. And we'll get it popping in a couple of seconds here. Definitely want to share this um, information that I'm sure um, a lot of people don't know about, but this could be any of our family members in this uh, horrific situation that's, um, that I've came across. So uh, just trying to share some knowledge with you. Um, so definitely hit the share button and hit watch party and um, we'll go on and get started. I won't be long. I'm just pulled over here came across my mind and I said I'm gonna share it uh, with the people so never stops yes hit the share button and hit watch party so I don't know who is uh, familiar with um, the Atlanta Star Journal whenever I give information I don't tell you what I think or what I feel, I always back up my information with some kind of reference, whether it's the Bible, the Quran, some kind of science, or some kind of scholarly reference or reliable reference so you know where I'm getting my information from. I don't tell you how I think or what I feel. People may not like the flavor of how or what I'm saying, but we're in a time and age that we got to get over our feelings. Am I telling you the truth? Am I speaking the truth? Don't let my passion override the facts that I'm giving you. So the Atlanta Star Journal just came out and said auditors in the state of California have found that four prisons have been illegally sterilizing in other words, tying the tubes of black women for the last 10 years. I'm going to say it again. The Atlanta Star Journal is main, one of the main references. And they have found that auditors who go into prisons have found that four different prisons, women's prisons in the state of California, have been illegally sterilizing or tying the tubes of black women. They have documented at least 39 to 40, but they believe it's many, many more. These four prisons that have been illegally sterilizing black women, the names of these prisons is prisons are called uh, Folsom Women's uh, Prison, um, Valley View State Women's Prison, uh, Central California Women's Prison and California Institute Women's Facility. Those are the four prisons in California that are all women's facilities that have been illegally sterilizing or tying the tubes of black women over the last 10 years. Again, Folsom Women's Facility Prison, Central California women's facility, Valley View State women's facility, and California Institute women's facility. You can look this up. They have been illegally sterilizing and tying the tubes of black women for the last 10 years. Um, through their audit, whoever this institution is that audit prisons, they found that when women have any kind of medical procedure like that in a women's prison, they have to sign a waiver or a consent form. They found through their audit that, well, normally the rule is, especially with a procedure like that, is after they sign the consent form, and that's a big question mark if they even signed it, but I'll, I'll get to that after they sign a consent form to have this supposed procedure that they consent to, the procedure 
is not supposed to take place until 30 to 180 days after they sign the consent form. I'm going to repeat that. For a procedure like this, having your tubes tied, being sterilized where you can't have any more babies, after they sign the consent form, the procedure is not supposed to take place until 30 to 180 days after the consent form is signed. And the reason for that is they want the patient or the client to be sure and to think over making that kind of decision. They just don't want you to sign it and then a couple days later you have that procedure because it's, sent, it's such a serious procedure. Through their investigation, they found that these women who were illegally sterilized they had the procedure to be sterilized one week, one week after they supposedly signed the consent form. Did you hear what your brother said? You're supposed to wait 30 to 180 days after the consent form is signed to be sterilized. That's if you knew you were being sterilized. Furthermore, in the investigation, they found that the doctors who were performing these sterilizations was forging the signatures and the documents of the supposed consent form that was being signed by these black women. They forged it, meaning they doctored up the documents. So we don't even know if the women who got sterilized even signed it. Hell, for something like that, I imagine they put them in anesthesia. Hell, they may have thought that they was getting a tooth pulled or something. And, and before you know it, they're getting sterilized. So number one, the first transgression was, again, because I want us to be clear on what I'm saying. When you sign a consent form in these prisons to have such a procedure done and other similar procedures, even after you sign the consent form, the procedure is not supposed to be done 30 to 180 days after you supposedly sign this consent form. They found through their own investigation that these black women were sterilized one week after they supposedly signed it. Transgression number two was they found that the doctors was forging their signatures and forging the documents of the consent form. So we don't even know if these women that were being sterilized even know if they were being sterilized. Because if they did, they may have not even signed the consent form. And if they did sign the consent form, the consent form, they were sterilized within a week after being sterilized, which leads me to believe they never even signed. They may have thought they was getting a tooth pulled or uh, having a, a procedure done on their arm or something. I don't know. But it's egregious. Now, these women won't be able to have no more babies, won't be able to reproduce. And again, these four prisons in California who were illegally sterilizing black women over the last 10 years, again, you can... Google this, and I'm getting my reference from the Atlanta Star Journal, which is a major black newspaper and outlet in Atlanta. Folsom uh, Women's Prison, Central California Women's Facility, Valley View State Women's Facility, and um, California Institute Women's Facility, all in California, illegally sterilizing black women or tying their tubes so they can't reproduce. Man, this is all out and out genocide. Trying to stop our reproduction. And whoever these demonic doctors are, my question is, who, yeah, who are they? If you have a procedure done like that by a doctor, they have to know who in the hell these doctors are? Ain't like it's just some random person off of the street doing uh, a procedure like that. They have to know who these doctors are. How come their names ain't being released? 
if the state went in there in an audit and have found that they have been doing these illegal sterilizations for the last 10 years, how come they haven't released the names of these damn doctors who did this to these sisters? You want to know why? Because they're probably going to give them a little slap on the wrist and say, oh, that's not nice. You shouldn't do that. that that's not nice, doc. Don't do that again. How come they haven't released their names? Since the state has won in there and said they have done illegal sterilizations, they have uh, forged signatures and documents. You can look this all up. It's all over the internet. Or maybe it isn't. Because maybe they don't want the general public to know. Who in the hell are these fucking doctors who did this to our sisters? That's right. Oh, I never, I thought you was a, was a Muslim. You got that cap on. I see you with them, be with them beads and you got your beard. I never thought I'd hear someone who professes to be a man of God and speak in such a way. Well, maybe you never met a real man of God. Because if you had, all these supposed spiritual people out here that knows this information, but they're quiet because they don't want to ruffle no feathers. Maybe you never met a real man of God. I'm just saying. This could be our auntie. This could be our mother. This could be our sister. This could be our cousin. This is all out and out genocide. And it's nothing new. Get the book Medical Apartheid by Harriet Washington. And it says right there on the front. A study of documented medical experimentations on black Americans from colonial times to the present. To the present. That means it's still going on and this is proof of it. Look up Marion Sims, Dr. Marion Sims. They got a big statue of him in Central Park in New York, the famous Central Park. He is supposedly the father of gynecology. Any sisters out there listening, you know what a gynecologist is. He takes care of women's health. This demon, back in the 1800s in Alabama, was doing forced operations on black women, practicing on them to perfect gynecology. He was pinning black women down on tables of slaves and putting forceps and all kind of tools and shoving it up in their vagina with no anesthesia. Black slaves, women, this is how he supposedly perfected gynecology. He did 30 operations alone on a black woman slave named Anarcha. This Marion Sims. And they give him a goddamn statue in New York in Central Park. Call him the father of gynecology. Did you hear what I said? He was forced doing forced operations on black women on slave plantations in the late 1800s did 30 operations on a slave named Anarcha alone. He would bring people off of the streets to pin black women down on the table and force forceps and tools up in their vagina and they would be screaming and hollering and kicking in pain. And even the people who he brought off the streets would say, Doc, she's in pain. He said, no, 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 she's not. These niggers don't feel any pain. They're not really human. Man, they've been doing this. This is all out and out genocide. So the state of California, through their own audit, have found that they have been doing illegal sterilizations on black women for the last 10 years. For the last 10 years, and I already gave you the names of these demonic prisons doing this. And half of us still waiting for the same people who used us for our babies as alligator bait to save them. How? Yes, brother. Very good point. Yes, they did do that. Yes, they did. Used to take slaves, um, 
babies of slaves from their mothers late at night and take them to the shores and swamps and put them in little cages like animals and open the front part of the cage and five, six, seven, and 800 pound alligators would come and eat our babies. And once they started chomping down on the babies, they would come with a pickaxe and hit the alligator in their head and kill them for alligator skin and alligator bait. They use, well, we were the bait. Our babies was the bait, but they would hit the alligator in the head with a pickaxe for alligator skin. And that's how you used to get alligator and crocodile skin shoes. Using our babies as bait. Steal the babies from the mothers late at night when the mothers weren't paying attention or when they were asleep. Because they were so tired from working all day out in the field or being raped all day by master. So they were tired and they would steal the babies at night or they would just take them and use these babies as alligator bait. And the babies would be screaming and hollering because they would see the alligators and the crocodiles coming up on them as they had them at the banks of swamps. Seven and eight hundred pound alligators chomping down on a baby. This is documented history that actually happened. Don't kill or get mad at the messenger. You should be mad at these demonic people who has done these things to us and are still doing them. I'm telling you about it right now. Sterilizing black women, tying their tubes without their consent. I don't even think these sisters knew what was coming because it is documented that they forged the... Uh, the documents of these supposed consent forms that they signed. And even if they did sign them, they still broke the law because again, like I said earlier, you are supposed to wait 30 to 180 days to perform such a procedure so the patient can think through and make a conscious, well thought out, well thought out decision before they have such a procedure because their tubes are being tied. Yes, these are the same people. They're the same people. No matter whether you are in Pennsylvania, New York, Chicago, Boston, California, they're all the same. They're the same. It's the same system. The same system that we, some of us, was jumping through hoops last night all on Facebook like we have achieved something because it was all over the internet that 45 was impeached. So what? What does that mean? He was impeached. Number one, the people who were all jubilant, I don't think they understand what the process and the procedures of impeachment. I talked about that last night, but it's nothing wrong with repeating the truth. Give me a black fist sign or a heart emoji if you're with me. Give me a black fist sign or I know this is rough, but I'm telling you the truth. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. You must understand the procedure with impeachment. Yeah, he was impeached, but that don't mean he's going to be removed. The Senate decides if he is removed from office. The Congress can vote on it all they want. That has to be unanimous. But the Senate has to make the final decision. It has to be a trial. They make the final decision. And if it's all Republicans, which I believe it is, he won't be removed. He just have on his record that he was impeached. It was two other presidents, like I said last night, that had been brought up on impeachment. The first one was the 17th president, Andrew Johnson, back in the late 1800s. They in brought impeachment charges up on him because he removed a high ranking official. And they didn't agree with that. And he disagreed with the South over what, over what? over the handling of slaves after the Civil War. 
Yeah, all his homies are in the Senate. So they tried to impeach Andrew Johnson, the 17th president. He never was impeached. He finished out his term. And back at that time, disagreeing with the South after the Civil War, especially when it came to matters of slavery, that was in a that was in, um, considered treason. They still didn't impeach him because um, not impeach him. They didn't remove him because to remove a president is embarrassing to the United States. The second one was your 42nd president, Bill Clinton, for having sexual relations with Monica Lewinsky in the Oval Office, something he admitted. This man admitted that he was having sexual relations with it. He admitted it. People was making fun of him and everything. He wasn't impeached. Again, he was impeached, but he wasn't removed. He finished out his second term, meaning Bill Clinton. He finished it out and he admitted while he was married, he had sex with this woman in the Oval Office. Wasn't removed, just impeached. Because the Senate has to decide. Everyone jumping around like we have achieved something. Let's say he is removed from office. And what the hell does that mean? The only thing that it means, just like my brother Gito says, is one of his flunkies and homies will replace him. Mike Pence, someone who has the same mindset and thought process is him. So what have we achieved? Number one, he's not going anywhere. He only has 11 more months to go before his first term is up. His first term is up uh, November of 2020. He only has 11 more months to go of this BS that they taken us through. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. That's why he was laughing at his uh, talk in Michigan last night. He know he ain't going nowhere. He got 11 more months to go. And even if he does get removed in replacing him with who? His buddy, his pal, who has the same mindset. So our people almost have the same mindset as when we were in slavery on the plantation. Here we are, were kidnapped out of Africa taken from our homeland by force, stripped of our name, our culture, our religion, our ways, taken from our family, made to come here to work from sunup and sundown, raped, mutilated, beaten, humiliated, and if Master gave us one day off, we was jumping around and celebrating. If they gave us a day off like Christmas or Thanksgiving or something. And, and if they just gave us a day off, we actually made holidays out of it. Because they gave us one day off from being raped, beaten, robbed, mutilated, humiliated, disgraced. One day off and we were jumping around. What's the difference now? They may, which I doubt move this goddamn cracker out of the White House and we jumping around as if we achieved something. As if something was achieved. When all they're going to do is move another cracker and demon in behind him. What is there to celebrate about? I mean, you, you would have thought we rewound back to 2008 when Barack Obama was elected. People all over the internet, yeah, he's out of there. No, he ain't. He's been impeached, uh, okay? Impeached and being removed from the White House is two totally different things. And even if he is removed, what are you celebrating for? What are you celebrating for? That's like someone kidnapping you and saying, you got two choices to, jo to die. A nine millimeter gun or a sawed off shotgun. And I'll give you the consequences of this. You're going to die, but the nine millimeter has shell point bullets in it. And that will go through you, which is probably going to bleed out. But the sawed off shotgun is going to blow you away. Which one do you want? 
and you start celebrating because they say, well, we changed our mind. We ain't going to use the sawed off shotgun because that'll just blow you away. We're going to use the nine millimeter instead. And you start clapping. The hell are you clapping for? Your demise is quickly coming either way. They just gave you a little less choice of how to die by saying they're going to shoot you with the nine millimeter instead of the sawed off shotgun and you celebrating. This is equivalent to the jubilation that I seen on Facebook last night with this cracker being impeached because the people don't understand the impeachment process. And even if he is removed, replaced with who? Yes, we fighting the devils behind, so that tells you how far we've come because we can't see past the dumb office and I can't see the rest. Yes. Uh, sorry for my language, but we're taught, teach the people in the language of the people so they may understand. I hope you understand what I'm saying. But I started out talking about this new report that came out, documented by uh, the Atlanta Star Journal about black women being illegally sterilized in the state of California in four women's prisons, Folsom Women's Facility, Central California Women's Facility, Valley View State Women's Prison, and California Institute women's prison. All four of them have been found to illegally been sterilizing black women. They say they think it's about 39 or 40, but they believe it's many, many more. But they haven't released the names of the doctors who were doing these, these illegal sterilizations. They gotta know. They gotta know. Even if you get a simple procedure is, uh, uh, going to get your tooth removed and you go back and say oh I forgot the doctor's name and you call the dentist office they don't know who did they got to know who did the procedure these procedures these illegal force procedures because then they even said that the doctors forged the documents of these supposed consent forms which I don't believe was even signed which makes it double worse now you got oodles of sisters there countless sisters who can't reproduce. This is all out and out genocide, which has been well documented in this country. Genocide. We already told you about Dr. Death, Marion Sims. Look him up. The father of gynecology doing forced operations on black women in slave plantations in the South, particularly Alabama to perfect supposedly gynecology. Did 30 operations on a slave named Anarcha alone, pinning black women down on tables. They've been doing this. This is genocide. Do we need to talk about the AIDS virus in Africa and here? It's a cancer institute in Fort Dedrick, Maryland. And that's one of the first places they started developing this AIDS virus, right there in Fort Dedrick, Maryland. Genocide. The H1N1 virus that they was scaring the hell out of people with. What happened to that? Genocide. All these cancers that just came out of nowhere that are killing people, even white people, left and right. But of course, when America has a cold, we have the flu. Genocide. The cops killing unarmed black men, women, and children outright, right in front of our face, on camera, on Facebook. Genocide. trying to turn our men into homosexuals and our women into lesbians so we won't produce just like they did with these women in these prisons, genocide. 
do I need to go on? Them poisoning the food. And getting us to have these bad diets that will cause disease and mental illness. Genocide. We got to wake up. But the worst genocide is the mental genocide. Not knowing what time of the day it is. Not knowing and understanding your surroundings. Not knowing and understanding the tricks of Satan. The devil. That's a mental genocide. These are all tricks and tactics by Satan himself. And it's swooping us under every day but if we wake up we can reverse this but if we keep on falling falling asleep and letting them lully by us to sleep with their lies and their tricks and their tactics it's not going to be too good for us didn't even name the doctors who did these forced sterilizations at these prisons for the last 10 years of black women. How come they haven't released the names since they did an audit and they found that they broke the law, but they still, well, you got hundreds of thousands of petitions and signatures against Mike Vick for dog fighting back in 2008. But you got people doing these illegal sterilizations and we don't even know their name. And they still throwing this brother under the bus for dog fighting back in 2008. Didn't even want him to be the captain of the Pro Bowl next year for dog fighting. A dog, a dog, the cousin of a wolf. I just wanted to let you know what's going on and for us to wake up and come out of this deep sleep and slumber that we in. You can look this up and please share this message. I leave you in peace as I came. Assalamu alaikum.